everyone, I'm Dr. Mina Blazy. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. Just take a moment and subscribe to your right. I would greatly appreciate it. Over the next few months, I'm going to be giving an overview of the next generation science standards. The last video, I did an introduction of the um, three dimensions of the science of learning, the cross-cutting concepts, the disciplinary core ideas, and the science and engineering practices with the performance expectations and the evidence statement. So watch the previous uh, video if you want just an overview. I will go into depth with those in a, an upcoming video, but today I wanna go over the website. The website, there's a lot going on and you're not probably not sure where do I get started. So take a moment and go to the standards and look at the uh, drop-down menu. Then you look at the instruction and assessments and then the planning and communication. This will get you started. District leaders, principals, teachers, I would like to show you some things that you can look at and read if you really want to dive deep into the next generation science standards. You don't need to, but sometimes the background knowledge helps you when you are incorporating this into the, the classroom or providing professional development for the school site or the entire district. And it would look differently for K-5 because it's fully integrated into a classroom, um, maybe middle school, and it'll look different in high school because that might be a situation where you want to integrate STEM in a biological or chemical science, for example. So let's look under the tab, the standards. You have read the standards. Now, again, if you click on this, reading the standards will give you the search option. And it can give you all of the standards where you can click on the standards by disciplinary core ideas. You can look at the arrangement of them. You can do the standards by topic. And these are PDFs, by the way. And then you can search the evidence statements. Now, remember that the evidence statements give you gives you the phenomena at the bottom of the PDF instead of the actual Common Core State Standards in ELA and Mathematics. So you will see the picture of it. For example, let me just quickly show you that when you see this PDF, this PDF will give you, um, while it's loading, it'll give you the Common Core State Standards at the bottom. It gives you the performance expectation, and then it gives you the three dimensions of the science of learning. But then if you really wanted to look at the related evidence statement, this gives you at the bottom, um, somewhat of a rubric. It tells you what ways that you can actually perform this in the classroom. So when we look at the bottom of this and while it's loading, you can see that it gives you a, um, what students will need to identify, for example, what whether or not they're planning an investigation or collecting the data. So that's the difference between those two, just, just, just as a heads up. Now, if we go back to the top here, I highly recommend you click on the appendices. The appendices, while some are maybe be, um, five pages, some are 20 pages, uh, I don't think there's many more than maybe 21, 22 pages, but even so, it gives you an overview of say, those uh, the three dimensions of science, you can read those. It gives you the na nature of science, meaning the physical world, the natural world, compared to engineering, what we can do with the natural world, what we can change. Um, my example before was flight in space, where we under need to understand the forces of motion, but in order to divide, to uh, defy or defy forces of motion, we need to build something like an aircraft, an airplane, you know. Um, so just, just some background in that. But I highly recommend if you are a leader in a district that you should have some background in this, especially if you're providing professional development for your teachers. And it also goes into the evidence statements. The evidence statements are basically an a broader look at the performance expectation. So remember that evidence statements breaks that performance expectation apart so that you can dive in into the classroom. And then it'll give you uh, under this tab, um, drop down menu, the understanding of the standards and then developing the standards. You may not wanna really know that right away, but it's something, it's a good read if you want to uh, take a moment and look at that. Then the instructional and assessments, you can look at evaluating uh, NGSS design, but you'll see that it gives you some things, the lesson screener, equipment rubric for science, peer review panel, NGSS design badge and task screening tools, 
I recommend that you click on these, play around, and we will do that in the coming months. Um, and then understanding the NGSS design. There's a video hub. Oh my gosh, lots of resources here. Some hidden things you may not have known about. And then a resource library, quality NGSS units. So if you want to do a unit of study, and sometimes you'll realize that some of those performance expectations, like physical science and chemical science, might go very well together, especially if you're talking about the periodic table. Um, and biological sciences, like life sciences. The one that I think that I, is coming to mind right now is photosynthesis, because there are there's physics, life science, and chemical science behind that. So that's a great conversation. And then assessment resources. Now, the planning and communication, um, that's really state and district implementation, and it's a, it's a bigger picture, but this is where I would focus if you're a teacher, you know, gives you some lesson screeners, um, and here too, but also if you are a principal or a district leader, this would, will help you out greatly as a leader. So in the coming months, I'm going to be doing some specific lessons. I like to play around with the periodic table, density, physical science, life science, um, but I will start with kinder and I will do some middle and high school lessons so that you can see what this, how you can do this in the classroom. Now, I will be doing it from this perspective, but I'll have my camera so I can show you a few things. And so it's fun in the classroom so that you can see how students can write with um, science as well. Um, they're reading and their informational test text about uh, around science as well and how the common core mathematics and English language arts are fully integrated in and with the standard. So thank you again. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you for listening.